Hello and welcome to another video on the channel. So excuse the quality of the mic, but I had to use my phone um, as my microphone is not working uh, at this moment. But um, something I did want to speak a bit on and I guess m truly moving forward from the situation and um, healing from narcissistic abuse is uh, the importance of moving in silence. So when you're dealing with a narcissist, someone who's highly narcissistic or abusive and unself-aware, um, it's I'm I can I believe it's safe to assume that your boundaries will be overstepped in some way or some form, and you will be stalked in some manner. As I'm sure this behavior is uh, pathological, and the real issue there is that everything you do, uh, uh, everything you do, and everything with a narcissist is always twisted, turned, and and just warped uh, into <laughs> nonsense essentially. And they use this to their advantage in tricking other people to do a lot of different things. So one, they can turn people against you. Two, they can redirect their attention to you instead of them while they do whatever whatever they do uh, in their free time. Um, and three, just to cause chaos, destruction, and damage. So literally, like I said, everything you do around a narcissist is going to be warped in some way, shape, or form. And it's always going to be in a way that benefits them, quote unquote. And another important aspect to keep in mind with that is that no one around you or the narcissist is safe. Um, everyone will eventually be a victim of a narcissist in some way, shape, or form. That could be through triangulation, that could be through uh, smear campaigns, anything. They'll recruit anyone around you or them to play their game so they can get their supply, essentially, which is just attention. Um, and again, this varies depending on a narcissist, narcissistic person, uh, their personality. But in general, if you're dealing with a narcissist, um, it's pretty safe to assume that no one around you or them is safe. Um, and that if they're stalking you, they're stalking someone around you. And which have many different implications. So primarily for a narcissist or a narcissistic person, what they're doing is trying to get some sort of a supply, some sort of attention to ultimately distract themselves from themselves. Um, and like I said, this would be essentially by causing problems and pain for the victim. So that's why it's so important to truly be careful about what you share and just be as reserved as possible when you're dealing with these people because of how closely they watch you and other people. Um, and they will, if they can, ruin something for you, they will try to. 